All right, so today we are on lesson 16.1. We're on page 585 of your packet. All right, so we're gonna do the solve and share. It says, the number line below is an example of a line. A line goes on forever in a straight path in two directions. Draw the following pairs of lines. Two lines that will never cross. Two lines that cross at one point. Two lines that cross at two points. If you cannot draw the lines, tell why. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna underline the important information that I need to use. So a really good thing is a line goes on forever in a straight path in two directions. I want you to look around you and see if you can find an example of a line around you now. All right. After that, it's telling us to draw the following pairs. Pairs means two of lines. Two lines that will never cross. Two lines that cross at one point. Two lines that cross at two points. And if you cannot draw the lines, tell why. All right, so I want you to pause the video and try and do it on your own. All right, so now that you've had some time to solve it on your own, let's go over it together. So the first thing that they want us to draw are two lines that never cross. You learned a word in third grade that meant two lines that are gonna go on forever and ever and never cross, okay? So I can just draw, here's a line and here's a line and here and here. These two lines, two lines, that never cross. Because no matter what, if this extended both ways forever and ever, and this one did too, they're never gonna touch. All right, so got that one. Two lines that cross at one point. So I'm just gonna draw another line going this way, and then another line that just simply goes through it like an X. This is where they cross, it's only one point. All right, and then two lines that cross at two points. You can't do that. You cannot draw lines that cross at two points. because lines are straight. And if you have a hard time imagining that, let's take two pins. These pins are straight. Here it is crossing at one point right here. No matter how I'm going to move these, no matter how close I'm gonna get, they're only crossing at that one point. I can't bend this pin to make it cross at more than one point. Okay, no matter what I do, I can try it down here, I can try it up here, but it's still only hitting one point across, okay? Right there in the middle, okay? I can't get it to cross, okay? They're not on top of each other, they just have to cross. All right, so we're gonna go down to the look back. Terry said the lines shown intersect at three points. Is Terry correct? So let's look at this. Well, Let's think back to what a line is. Up here, a line goes on forever in a straight path. Straight is your key word. This line is straight, but this line is curvy. So Terry is not right because lines are straight and they do not have these curves in them. Terry is incorrect. because lines do not curve like the one shown. All right, set, and we can see that. They can go on this way or this way, and they're never gonna touch each other. 
all right? I like to look at these L's right here because those are parallel in there. So that's a good way to remember what parallel means. Those two L's are never gonna touch each other. Intersecting lines pass through the same point. So here they intersect right there. And perpendicular lines are lines that intersect to form right angles. So we can see, we know that this square represents our 90 degrees or our right angle. So when they make that, like a corner of your book or a corner of your paper, it's forming that perfectly right angle, the 90 degree angle, okay? So that's what perpendicular is. Perpendicular lines are also intersecting lines, but intersecting lines are not parallel lines. So these, this perpendicular line, they intersect right there. But these intersecting lines are not perpendicular because there's no right angle formed. Here's an obtuse angle and here's an acute angle, but no right angle. Find examples in your classroom where you can identify parallel lines, intersecting lines, and perpendicular lines and explain. So now you can do that. Um, I know if you're in Ms. Cheney's class, you can send her photos if you want to show them where you're finding things. Um, and I'm sure all the other fourth grade teachers would like the same thing. They're everywhere. So go out and look and you can really impress your um, parents by saying, well, there are some parallel lines. There's perpendicular. All right, so on page 588, I'm only gonna go over a few of them, but you're supposed to try all of them and then check your own answers. So I'm gonna start with 16. It says, Bella names this line, line LM, and Miguel names it line LN. Who is correct and explain? Well, if you look on your line over here, it has all three points. So both of them are correct because you can name it by any two points that are on that line, okay? So both are correct because you just need any two points on the line. Okay, we're gonna look at 17. If all perpendicular lines are also intersecting lines, are all intersecting lines also perpendicular? Explain. And we went over that earlier, but we just wanna write it down just in case. So, are all intersecting lines also perpendicular lines? No. Intersecting lines don't always form right angles. Oops, that was angel. Angles. But perpendicular half to intersect. So you can always pause the video to get those down. And then let's go to 20. Which geometric term would you use to describe the power cables shown at the right? So your power cables are this and this. So would they be perpendicular that form 90 degrees, parallel that never touch, intersecting, or points? And it would be parallel. So again, go back to these two and go over them and go check back over your work.